Hey guys, and welcome back to the Join the Cult podcast. As you can hear, it's another English-speaking episode. Finally, hey, uh, we got some. We uh, had a lot of uh, people uh, contacting us and asking uh, when there will be another uh, English episode. I think we made one like two episodes back, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we're actually uh, actively looking for English-speaking guests because we know some of you don't speak German, so. Uh, We might come back with some more English episodes in the future. But now we're here uh, with an amazing guest, a really special one this time, a really different kind of guest, as you will hear uh, mm -hmm. later. Uh, his name is Eugene. And you, if you, I, I told you, if, if you were like uh, partying around, like when was it, like 2010, 2011, yeah. uh, you probably heard him before. Like, when I was partying. Sure. I mean, uh, uh, when when did the, those songs come out? Oh, 2011, I think. 2011, I think. Yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, like one of the the biggest ones that you did were uh, was um, like turn this club around. You might know him from turn this club around or uh, like summer, summer jam. jam I yeah. Think, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, I rest. might also uh, edit it was like, some. Who knows? Oh, no, <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. He's still an active musician. He's still uh, uh, gigging and all this stuff. Yeah. It's, <laughs> He's Get coming up back. again, yeah, <laughs> and that's actually what we want to talk about uh, today too, uh, because you're still playing shows and uh, yeah, actually you you're coming from a show now, right? Yeah. Um, you today? No, I was at a extra in Ebenbüren uh, last night. Extra, extra is and a venue. Or? Yes. Okay. And then uh, the um, day before, I was in Kiel at the uh, Kiel. We like the city, yeah. Max the Theater. Song, yeah. Such a beautiful city. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a great city. We yeah. Had, yeah, city. we had... Uh, well, 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 it's not, you, it's can not, have, you can also you can have awesome nights there. Uh, you can have awesome nights, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like a smaller version of Hamburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good comparison. Yeah. But it's not as beautiful. It feels no, like the no. Duisburg from the north. Boom. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, exactly what it is. Yeah, did, did you, uh, are you... I mean, where did you play? It's like a, in a club or...? It's called uh, Max Theater. And that's uh, a, a nightclub, or it's a. It's like a huh? yeah. It, it, it's a theater. Okay. It's a theater. Okay. It's it's your theater. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> obviously. It's, it, <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's a theater uh, that got turned into a big room disco. Oh, I nice. thought it was turned into a disco, so uh, to a club. Uh, so he turned this club around. Uh, that, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Basically, I yeah I turned a theater into a. Di a disco so effectively i did turn a, the club thea around. a theater around <laughs> yeah. to a club to a club so did you did you speaking, yeah. did you sing summer jam or uh, turn this club around yesterday oh no what when was it yesterday actually yeah so my set list goes a little something like i go on stage i do summer jam <laughs> i do turn this club around and then i probably will kick off like house party Uh, I know this song too. House Party's pretty cool. Uh, shout out to DJ Antoine and Mad Mark for uh, putting that beautiful song together. And B Case for putting that song together. And then Party Animal, which is another Rio hit. And then, um, I too. then okay. uh, you know, you know, I got to show some love to all the fans. So I do, you know, Like I Love You, which is a Rio original. Um, and then I do Party Shaker, which is also a Rio original. Uh, mm. And it's like a, a joint venture where I was still associated with Rio and doing great music with them. And then, so uh, everything else coming from Rio is kind of, you know, uh, DJ style stuff, you know, mm. but, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have been there in the good days, you know, when it was still about TV and magazines and all that stuff, you know? So. Yeah. I mean, but they're working still uh, with singers or are they just doing like instrumental? Uh, yeah, they're doing more so... I think they're doing what every other uh, DJ producer is doing right now. Mm. Uh, these projects, they realize that there's an algorithm on Spotify. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We know about that. Yeah. yeah. All they're awarding on these uh, streaming platforms is the fact that you release more music. Mm. The more music you release, the more the algorithm is going to push you. Uh, push you. Yeah. And you're gonna make your money that way. Mm. Spotify just became a new fucking YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you can do your best. You can sit up all day, day long trying to write a masterpiece, and in the end, it won't matter unless you're regular anyway with releasing. Mm. 
He's already uh, delving into <coughs> our kind yeah. of kinds of topics. Uh, this this is point. what we talk about here. We want to <laughs> really. You guys talk about this just you know like hanging out. You guys, is this something on your on your mind? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, we talk about the music business and all this stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, yeah. we actually wanted to uh, We're diving uh, in. Then. Yeah, I mean, we we wanted to talk about not. Maybe this is, could be a topic for an, another episode. Maybe mm -hmm. we could also bring two guests. Uh, I have a have an idea, like maybe about uh, TikTok and stuff like that. We were yeah. uh, talking about this too. Could be a future episode too. Uh, huh. Let's just stay positive for now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it, we, 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 it's we, all positive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, it's but never been better for the musician. I, you think so? I know. I need to ask. Like, I don't have that impression. Like, well, you think? we can't be skeptical about it, right? You know. Imagine this. You release. And then something's gonna pop off. It's good. I don't want to get into the big because it's a for for a different episode. But I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of stuff to say about this. But let's let's not uh, get into this too much now because I actually um, I have my. You can come back soon. So yeah, yeah we can just come back and uh, <laughs> we're having a good if this time. one works out yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We're having a good time. He's actually uh, holding up our tradition with a with a good. Chisky beer. Yeah. We have. Uh, this is a tradition for you guys. Yeah, that's our tradition in the podcast. Yeah, yeah. this is. But this is pretty good. We usually too. open a chisky at the end of the show. Uh, this time, uh, maybe we'll have. Yeah, this, about, um, this time we just. Um, we thought it was starting with the beer already. So I don't even know if I if I face the right camera to be honest. But uh, fuck uh, it. That one, that one. Yeah. Hey, we're having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got used to saying that. I was watching a comedy show one day, and this guy said, "We're having a good time." And I, ever since then, I've been stuck on that. <laughs> you just you need to just uh, keep repeating it, and then at one point, just, it will be just true. Just say that you're having a fun time, and then everybody will be. In. You know, the optimism has to happen. Then yeah. you say that everybody's like, "Yeah, okay." Uh, okay. I believe so it. I guess we're having a good time. I kind of believe that. <laughs> um, wh what was it? Uh, just uh, nothing. We'll just see later. All hell breaks. We're having a good time. No <laughs> uh, so um, I wanted to talk about a little bit because actually, uh, um, I mean, it's pretty obvious that that you're not a uh, regular. Um, uh, let, let's say, like you're coming from a completely different scene, completely different uh, yeah. kind of music, a completely yeah. different. Uh, culture i guess yeah. uh, so yeah. uh, we thought it would be really interesting to have someone like you uh, on the podcast because usually when we have guests we talk to like kind of people from the metal scene common and, people we know from our scene and right. yeah and so uh, we thought it would be interesting or it might be interesting uh, comparing like your experience of uh, because you're just coming back from a gig uh, about the whole procedure how it uh, how how does it work when because uh, I, I told you before beforehand, like Max and me, we were talking today about the whole topic, and I uh, I said like Max and me, we're coming from the from the uh, like the scene where the people wear black t-shirts, right. you know. And right. uh, I guess like when you're playing more in clubs and more uh, dancing, and it's it's a different, might be a different uh, different vibe, I True. guess. Like, and mm -hmm. how is the the backstage? I have some some uh, some stuff I want to ask you. Uh, you have backstage rooms, and are they nicer than metal venues? For example, this is like the stuff that I was yeah. wondering about. You know? Actually, you guys, you metal guys, get probably better treatment. <laughs> you really? I'm serious. What? Like, uh, no, I don't think so. <clears throat> well, I, I'm going to say this very uh, honestly: that when you're a band and you show up, you got. The black t-shirt crew mm. you're, it's not just the players and it's not just the audience it's also the sound guys yeah right i'm okay, a nerd yeah. and it's like <laughs> there's nothing like doing a live show with live musicians and actually yeah. having a chance to talk to you know the sound guys it's like a whole crew of them you know and then when you talk to the uh, other musicians some so sometimes they come directly from playing like a metal show. Mm. Or mm. Some and now they're on stage doing, doing cover. Yeah, know? right. And it really has a lot to do with, you know, like true musicianship. Mm -hmm. Is to where my job. Um, it's like that's my day job. You know, uh, Rio is a thing that I do okay. uh, because I I seized an opportunity. You know, there was a moment to go into the studio and showcase my talents <laughs> yeah. uh, okay i sing great okay eugene can you sing it like this okay yeah mm. sure i can give that to you because i'm a musician mm. it's not because i you know i i didn't grow up singing turn this club around it's not like i i was raised on that music i was raised on gospel for christ's sakes mm. oh really okay i, I was raised you know like one of my favorite artists is like whitney houston because she's she doesn't give a fuck about her uh, about about how it comes. Her texture, we used to be impeccable. 
Hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and you could hear her singing from from miles away. Yeah, and and for some reason she coined me, and then came along people like Maxwell and you know, re- uh, and there's Erica Badu, and it's just like really texture texture rich singers. Michael Jackson had a lot of texture too. Yeah, definitely. Uh. Uh, but yeah, I'm a big fan of texture based. We actually have an audience today. Some <laughs> yes. dogs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, of 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 vocal texture, and uh, so. It was something that I was able to showcase in these songs, and I think that it it offered that kind of swag, mm-hmm. and that space was filled in, and I think that that is what captured the listener. Because at the time, there was a lot of people putting in their bid for the house music mm-hmm. scene, being mm-hmm. a vocal house person. There were so many people, and so many guys vo- like at vocal house at, at, during that time on contour records there must have been uh over 100 releases in the matter in a matter of two years over the summer of 2000 between 2010 and 2011 and it all began with lmfao tayo cruz jason derulo in the beginnings mm-hmm. sean mm-hmm. kingston and and those guys and then came like the whole kesha thing you know mm-hmm. and it was big, and I, I had a chance to actually seize a little pocket of that. Mm. Okay, but you were not aiming uh, for that from the very beginning. From the from the very beginning, I was I was singing at birthdays, weddings, and divorces. That's all mm. I was doing. You know, I was singing uh, for um, bar mitzvahs and uh, bat mitzvahs, and if there was a wedding, I was there. I was back and forth between. I was almost in Paris, Paris every Sunday. Yeah. Uh, I was in Heidelberg a lot, uh, doing you know uh, sweet soul music review. Hmm. So I did a lot of Sam and Dave stuff, hmm. uh, and everybody was trying to do their own thing. But we all got together to hmm. do the book shows, you know, the bookings, hmm. yeah. and it was all about the bookings. Okay, but you know? what? So how how did it change? Like when you uh, when um, when Rio hired you? I mean, I guess they hired you as for what kind? What uh, um, what was the contract like? Like. They hired you for three songs, or they said, well, "Are you even allowed to talk about the contract?" I, I <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was like, uh, "Alex, this is, how, yeah, this is how Jan sounds. Alex, would you like to come to Cologne and record some songs with us? We want to try out your voice and just see how it might sound." And I was like, "Sure." Mm. I have a car. I'm a musician. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> a musician with a car. Lot, yeah, that's what I want to say. We know a lot of musicians who actually don't drive a car. Uh, it's, not so, it's not so common. It's kind of shifty on their yeah. side. Oh, yeah. Musicians, get yourself a car. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Save, you know who we're talking to. <laughs> Save a whale. And get a car. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you, you got, I had a car, and luckily it was good enough to make it out to Cologne on a day that I didn't have a show. Mm. I mm. think I might have went out on a in the middle of the week, you know, mm. and I get, to, I get to Jan's studio, and, you know... He's got his grand piano over there on the far right, mm. uh, over there on uh, on Gerlitzweg and with the Zuland Records. You know, I didn't know what it was at the time. Mm. I didn't know what it was. And maybe uh, that's why you were not so. Uh, I had uh, no nervous idea. about it. Yeah, exactly. You were just trying out. Uh. I had no idea that uh, that that he was the producer of Cascada. Mm. Even, even when he said that he was the producer of Cascada, I was like, who? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know who I didn't know who Natalie was, you know. I I didn't know any anything about that. I was still listening to Smokey Robinson and uh and uh Sam Smith and uh, Otis Redding. Mm-hmm. You know, these are these are my everyday drivers, you know. I mm-hmm. did that, you know. I was really on soul music. So when they started mentioning all these big names names that are big here and yeah. stuff, I was like, "What?" Anyway, so I record this song Heaven is a Place on Earth. Complete flop, but it was a good tester. Mm-hmm. I go. It was a cover too. I, I, nice to say I got an official cover of "Heaven Is a Place on Earth." But then, so I uh, went to Quinta Del Ria Robinson Club to do a. Uh, I was doing a show. Um, you know, we do. Oh, by the way, yeah, you stay there for twelve days. This is incentive for for musicians right here try to get yourself a robinson club gig uh it's a free vacation 
Where is it? Uh, Robinson. <laughs> uh, it's it's like Aldiana. Uh, this, this is a completely diff- different uh, yeah, yeah. different uh, scene. We have no idea. We've never heard about if that. If you don't cover, we know Metal Crews. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we know we know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when you're doing cover music, you can you can book yourself, or, or you know if you if if you know somebody who's associated with the management of these uh, of these all inclusive resorts, you can go there for like twelve days play three times in 12 days and the rest of the time you're having yourself a a very orderly vacation. I mean that's that that's what's so interesting because this is something that it doesn't exist in the metal scene. No, you know, can. I mean it can. It could, you mean it, like in theory. Can, yeah, in theory, but uh, I mean like we're getting too deep into the wrong topics because we can talk like uh, years and months about uh, difficulties in the music industry and but let's how, but, but, I how mean, the but, mainstream but, 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 but like, let me uh, but let me but let me finish it up yeah okay. sure sorry De- okay here goes the crazy part because I had no idea this was going to happen yeah. mm. I had no idea that was happening I get back uh, after 12 days of this of whatever this, it was whatever it was yeah. and, and turn this club around is on the charts Oh, you didn't even realize it. I didn't even know what it, you, uh, I didn't know what happened. How, how did you feel when you saw this? I didn't even know what it meant. Uh, okay. It was like it was like I had a winning lottery ticket, and I didn't even know what the lottery was. <clears throat> yeah, but you were. It was like you were, you were happy like, about it, or it, it was like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and uh-huh. I had the golden ticket, but I don't eat chocolate. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, I'm sorry, I'm keto. <laughs> it's, like, it's like what? And so then, next thing you know, uh. I'm going and like having clo- like picking out clothes to go to the dome. Mm. Yeah. And just to show you how freaking Yeah, yeah. Dome, so, so how, but how so did you feel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but but how did you feel about it? Like and I, That's not an like amazing said, thing. Like the whole time not... I was just singing. I was just singing. So I did you did you I didn't enjoy it? Like were you happy about it? Because it for sounds me, like you were just like, "Oh, I'm I'm, I'm I have been guess I'm singing at the dome now." Like, I have been gigging for so long. Like yeah. I had been on Ferenzi Garden before I was on Ferenzi Garden. So with Sweet Soul Music Review, I had gotten on Ferenzi Garden just to sing Temptations. You know, mm. I'm, Papa was a rolling stone. And it's mm. like, I'm backstage. Mm. And, uh, and I'm meeting people. And it's like, I go like, hey there, little girl. What's your name? And she's like, my name is Stephanie Heinzman. And I was like, what do you do? I'm a singer. And it's like, I'm sure you're a good singer. You're going to be really famous one day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and it was like, that was how I met Stephanie Heinzman. Or, uh, uh, like, I met the Dome. Dome 61. Yeah. And, oh, I remember. And, <laughs> I, I, I don't, but whatever. I see, you don't remember Dome? The Dome. I the mean, Dome. Uh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Not that particular show. No, 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 but in general. I, I see these little kids standing around behind me, and I'm like, why are they so close to me? And I turn around, I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing here? We're singers. I was like, so what's your name? I'm Harry Styles. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, cool. You're a singer? Cool. I'm sure, cool you, guys are, I'm sure you guys are going to be really big one day. I'm actually playing, <laughs> yeah. I'm actually playing <laughs> Harry Styles songs with uh, students of mine. We have a band together. called One Direction. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to do great. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> but then I get backstage and it's like old Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy's back there. Yeah. Right? He's, he's, like, he's like, what's up, man? I'm like, Shaggy! <laughs> Just goes to show you, I'm dumb. That, one. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> that guy I know. I know that one dude there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, honestly, I didn't know. I just didn't know. Mm. Okay, crazy. So you were just basically crazy. didn't have any expectations and you were just following along uh, the As flow. a singer, I have literally been along for the ride. I just open my mouth and sing and I see where it takes me, honestly. It's mm. like a, uh, like a Tom Cruise said on Top Gun Mavericks, don't think, just do. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I've been doing. I used to oh. sing for the army. Yeah, I, 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 I like that, yeah. I sing for like two years just singing for the army. Mm. Crazy. And, you know. Uh, that's then that that's how it goes. But you guys got other stuff to talk about. I'm not sure. I mean, no, 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 no. We would actually, Whoa. we actually. Uh, I mean, just to uh, let the fans know, man, it can go, it can go crazy. I yeah, mean, like, that's a crazy story, it's, man. It's nuts. It's nuts uh, how, as long as you're doing what you love to do, it's gonna take you where you need to go. As long as you're doing what you love to do, it'll mm-hmm. take you exactly where you need to be. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't even have to have optimism or skepticism. Just keep on doing what you I mean, do. this is a, that kind of approach that I don't know if I have it like uh, so much op- optimism. We, we are too wasted already. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I mean, uh, I think there's a, there's a, um, there's a, uh, uh, there's still. I, w- I want to get back m- maybe to the difference between the the two uh, uh, scenes. You know, yeah. of course. Um, 
because I think uh, first of all, like the stuff that you, you were you were mentioning before, like this what, what's the name Rose Garden, the, uh, this thing, uh, the resort, no no no, 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 the resort where you were oh, yeah, Robinson Club, this, uh, Robinson Club, Club. Rose Garden, yeah. <laughs> the Robinson Club, uh, and this stuff like this is unimaginable in, in the met, uh, in the metal scene. You know stuff like that. I mean, well, maybe I mean, Metro like Cruise, Metro Cruise, Me uh, Metro Cruise would be, be maybe an yeah. exception, but uh, the thing is, um, don't you see that there's a? I, I think there's a uh, there's a big uh, a divide between those uh, uh, scenes. And you were you were saying it could be in Metal too, you know? But yeah. I think uh, the the, um, the the difference is the audience. Yeah. yeah. You know, you need you need uh, to have something like that you need like mainstream audience. You need uh, you need big. Um, big audiences and i feel like the metal audience is like uh it's like becoming less right really or, yeah. I, i don't know i mean yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. i mean like uh, it feels like and i i from my point of view i i think i can see that there are a lot less metal kitties running around nowadays mm. yeah and so automatically like all the, the, the young the young people die someday yeah. and there's uh there are, yeah the new metal kit metal kits are missing i love metal You do you know, honestly like oh. I cut my teeth mixing with metal. Like my 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 mentor was Louis Ticknor, hmm. who owns PMT Audio, and it's like we spent I don't know how many times I must have referenced um, Slayer. Like yeah. it, really? it, it was it was running on repeat in the background, and I was switching from uh, sor source A to source B. Mm. You know, just to figure out like where someone What was they were sitting. Doing, yeah, yeah, and how it was uh, the you know the the whole Sonic character of uh, Slayer. Was mm -hmm. literally what we were going for, and uh, congratulations to Tick because his song ended up playing for um, for Metallica's opener. Mm. So, so like cool. when so when you're going to the in the stadium and coming in, boom, his song's playing. It's like I was pretty impressed about uh, how the fan base, like the metal fan base, is sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I so, go, but you don't have that in 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 the in the in, how, what what do you call your house, your scene? It's scene. house scene or club, scene. club culture. I wish it. I wish it was though. It's Can uh, you name so it? how how, how is, would you name uh, it? Yeah, this is a uh, this is like big room, uh, you know, like um, club culture. Yeah, it's like club disco. culture. Like, you know, but how is the audience like? Uh, like you know, it is. It is. What's your audience like? It, it, it's kind of like the EDM scene, EDM. but it's but it's oh, not okay. so EDM, oh, EDM. Yeah. 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 because yeah. EDM would be like uh, uh, Tomorrowland, and those people would never go see like Mickey Krauser. And yeah, so, right. Uh, so I'm stuck somewhere in between. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you know these artists, but they call themselves uh, uh, Timmy Trumpet. There's Harrison Ford. And Harrison Ford isn't that an actor? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they call himself Harris and Ford. Oh, okay, it's, okay. Like, it's like Mickey Krauser, right? To me, Trump. Yeah, uh, uh, but Mickey Krauser uh, is like a little leaning more towards Schlager. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and um, so I'm kind of, like Tyler Cruz used to be a, a, a thing, yeah. you know. And I know him, yeah. I'm uh, I'm not sure how. Yeah, like Tyler Cruz kind of created a genre that kind of fizzled out so in a way my genre is actually gone because in between it, take, it takes yeah it takes a really special mix between vocals and the right kind of house music to create mm -hmm. the sound that that we were able to deliver back then mm -hmm. and it just happens to be anthem worthy mm -hmm. yeah. and uh okay. um you know when it comes to metal what i find is that is that what i would like you know listening to all kinds of music when i listen to metal I'm like, fuck, this music is great. But I'm like, where is that thing that I can chant in the streets? When mm. I'm, Listen when, to Blossom Cult. When I'm walking, <laughs> like, like when I'm walking home drunk, is there something that I just know? Yeah. You're talking about melody, basically. Yeah. You're um, talking about catchy yeah, melodies. Yeah, not even melody, that, with, that, that special hook that melody yeah, is. Yeah, I guess. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Like uh I agree um, with that. Yeah. A lot of a lot of bands are missing that. Yeah. This is what uh it, like this is what H. P. Baxter from Scooter gave to us all. <laughs> you know, he gave to us how to stick so, just phrases a, into. Didn't you mention in the yes. last uh, episode? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's like fan, so, yeah. <laughs> shout out to HP for like uh, uh, for for like really delivering on. He just says things. Skibbity, skibbity danger. I am the real ranger. I am the real ranger. Nothing is hotter than shotter. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Maria, believe me, I like it loud. Uh, respect to the man in the ice cream van. Yeah. Crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Or duck, 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 duck
it keeps it stays in your head, basically. It, yes, yeah. exactly. And so I always was thinking to myself, like, when you're listening to metal, you know, like, you're you're already up there. You're already euphoric mm -hmm. because there's all this music. You guys are like wholesalers of music. The music mm. is on wholesale mm. and you guys are given all kinds of stuff going on all around you. And you're like, oh, this music, it's beautiful, mm. you know, pristine quality. All but something is missing for you. And it's like, all I want to hear is like, all, you know, all I want to hear is like, you know, give me something like, you know, you heard System of a Down. Yeah. I, you know. Huge influence to me. Yeah. Yeah. And although it's not, you know. I know that I know that metalheads would consider that commercial. Mm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But just that particular, uh, yeah. I, I don't want to be too offensive, but it's getting yeah. less. Uh, there are a lot less metal people out there that still think that way. Yeah, that was that, more like an early yeah. two thousand thing. Yeah, like, but um, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, it changed to the good. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you know, we want people to listen. We want people to listen. So it's yeah. like, yeah, why should I have to sit for hours editing? You know, you know, uh, 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 sticking a line. Mm. You know. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Why would I want to have to do that? But then again, the people are like, okay, if if the line doesn't stick, <laughs> then mm. then they just kind of hit next, and I don't know what to do about it, honestly. Mm. Yeah. Um... I think about metal the same way, to be honest. Mm. I think there should be a lot more. Uh, easy melodies, so to say, just mm, stuff. No, no, I wouldn't call it easy me melodies. It, it, I don't think you mean that too. No, nah, well, it depends on the on the artist. There are a lot of artists that play only uh, only don't only mean like uh, vocal melodies. No, also you're talking about uh, like, something to catch you. Some yeah, some but elements. It's, it's some... Okay, but that's that, that, that's just the point. It's okay to be easy. For you, mm -hmm. easy also uh, already triggers. Oh, it, it's cheap. Yeah. Like, what easy you just is, said easy right there. Fine. It's okay to have an mm -hmm. easy and uh, simple melody I mean, or hook. What I, you just said right there. It's okay to be easy. Yeah. In metal, it'd be like. It's not. It would just be like one. It'd be like. It's a bad word. It'd be like two bars yeah. of a whole mm -hmm. song. Yeah. Instead yeah. of making the whole song about it's okay to be easy. Yeah, I get, I get it. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. Uh, but but I mean uh, this is interesting because we are coming from like the, the we we try to avoid this term but we we got to face it we are coming from the more like the prog metal side of things prog metal yeah prog metal. but right. the thing is like I gotta get into that That's yeah, the thing is like <laughs> I don't know if you would like this so much like uh, because prog metal is more about like being I'm a technical pretentious guy I can play a little yeah. very fast and this and is the problem it's a really simple, technical soulless yeah. soulless a lot of times it's soulless technical yeah. stuff and um, uh, sometimes I prefer to to put to push our music more in the direction of it is complex and stuff like that, but it's also easy to listen to. Stevie, the songs are not so so long, you know. And Stevie like Wonder is the most complex of all musicians. You have to agree, Stevie Wonder is freaking nuts. It's, I mean, the, in in his genre, I, I mean, he yeah. could, he he plays everything all the in all ways, and when and 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 like Never so. Never heard a blast beat. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the musicianship. Yeah, yeah, definitely, it's amazing. Yeah. Musicianship can be there. Musicianship, and my this is my opinion, guys. I have nothing to. Uh, I have no. Nothing is definitive in music. We know this. Mm. Yeah. But uh, I'm a I'm a fan of impeccable musicianship, mm -hmm. and it can be as elaborate as you want. But it needs yeah. to it needs to lead you somewhere, right? But as long as if there's lyrics involved, if you say like you know you go. <laughs> I was trying to be elaborate, <laughs> you know, yeah. like get it, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, all I was doing was just, you know, okay, I'm messing around on my instrument. I'm having a good time. However, you know, you want people to know the true message of everything that you were trying to convey. Mm. Mm. And as long as you kind of let people know what the whole thing is about, then they're kind of going to go along with it. Mm. Yeah, I believe so too. Yeah. Uh, I, a pretty good example for this whole uh, it's okay to be easy thing uh, would be doing what's his name again the singer of the Opeth well, what's his name uh, Ackerfeld Ma Ma like Michael I don't know if it's 100% true I have to go and research it whatever but what I heard is that this guy said once that he doesn't like to play normal chords just like a major or minor chord and so he's always stuck there searching for that special chord yeah. and I'm, I'm just like 
We why? don't like that so much. Yeah, actually, why? I, I mean, it's we okay were about to that, put yeah. that special love into your chords. It's lovely, but but I, it is lovely if it. But if it sometimes, leads to summer, yeah. if you just have an album with twelve tracks and every track and every chord is pretentiously awesome, mm. it's too much for me. Yeah, and uh, I gotta hear this. that's why Opeth uh, has some good albums to me, but yeah. especially the new albums that are the way it goes tries to get more into basic acoustic stuff, yeah. and it plays just these awesome and every chord is so beautiful thing, and it's. It's too much for me. I want to and listen to it. Sometimes yeah, you should check it out. It's, yeah. it's yeah. worth and checking I, and out. And I'm just like, wait, just don't you just play the noble minor chord just once? But does he yeah. take you on a ride? Is he yeah. taking you on a ride the whole I time? I mean, we don't want to. We don't want to uh, mess around with the op Opeth fans because they will kill us. Oh, yeah. well, well, I, mean, put, uh, I mean, if, I mean, if you put it in your in your ears, are you gonna be like? Uh oh, what's gonna happen next? Is it gonna is it gonna be like a thriller? Uh, yeah, but you know what? You know what? That's it, the point. It, that I works. know. I know what's coming next, and that's not a normal uh, major chord. Yeah, and, and that's the thing what is, it works. Out. It works. <laughs> it works. It works for two or three songs, but then yeah. after you think like, okay, okay I get uh, it. You're always that, weird. Yeah, next chord is special. Then, uh, <laughs> the next chord is very very <laughs> beautiful <laughs> again. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> it would be surprising <laughs> if they just release a basic track for once. For God's <laughs> sake. Like, <laughs> Play a fucking A minor! It's too much! For God's Jesus sake! Christ. Yeah. Do the Special thing! <laughs> Do the music thing! Yeah, the real oh, yeah. thing! Yeah, yeah, ding dong! So you, you, yeah, don't yeah, ding you, don't know how many, uh, you don't know how many people hate us right now. Yeah. And we're actually playing proc, so. Uh, yeah, we're actually yeah, in the proc scene, so oh we just. Uh, fr you friendly fire, you basically. You fucked it all up, man. <laughs> but, but, yeah. no, but, but see, the thing is. I'm a big fan of like the musicianship is great. Yeah, yeah. However, no. when you when when stuff is coming out of your mouth, yeah. you got to understand like you know how it is. Like just, you know, okay, okay, take it this way. You're speaking English to somebody who can't speak English. Yeah. What are they doing? They're kind of like Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing with music. Yeah. Mm. Because most of them aren't real like, you know, they they're not Oh, what I what do I do? I wake up every morning and I think about uh, a thousand. I think about uh, a thousand songs in my head. Uh, mm, it's yeah. just floating around. No, they got they have lives. Musicians, we're doomed. Uh, and 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 musicians, they actually musicianship is a burden. That's, that's it, it is a burden. Yeah. We're doomed mm. from from the moment we're born. <laughs> it's in our it's That's, in our head. From the moment That's we are nicely born. put, man. Yeah, yeah. Like we have no choice but to be these people who we are. Yeah. And you're slave to to the And it's sad. I like and, the drama. And <laughs> but he's so, right. Yeah. So when we start speaking that language, those uh, you know the, the the people who speak normal human talk are 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 like they're like following our following yeah, our where mean. we're going and they just need some point to relate. Somewhere yeah. in the middle, and yeah. you know, like, hey, baby, I want to know, would you be my girl? Thank you. That will be stuck in my head for the next two you, hours. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. You can be as elaborate as you want. And they were like, that's awesome. I'm in there. I'm in there. But it's nice, but I, I could have watched a YouTube video. And next thing you know, and then next thing you know, good fucking nuts you yeah. know and they're like that's that song called hey baby and it's freaking weird but listen to that hook it'll get you, <laughs> you know? yeah. my point is why not mix both because yeah then that's, it's that's, our, that's, exactly. that's that's our just that's like yeah. what i'm talking just think about. about a soul concert and then that's just this 30 seconds of a metal blast beat and right and these 30 seconds will be stuck in your head every and night will be awesome every night is not poetry slam night yeah. in in the studio yeah yeah you can you, you can make it simple yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's fine. It just has to be good music. Sim simple lyrics, good music. Yeah. That's the way I feel about it. Simple lyrics. Simple lyrics, good music. You don't have to say, you don't have, you know, it's like this. If, if I want to get across the lake, I don't want to say, you know, you, you know, you don't want to say, um, um, <clears throat> cold water, the other side, I can see, and, and there is you and there is me stuck somewhere in between, you know, uh, um, um, uh, as I look, I lean in to see ecstasy, you know, like all of these crazy things that you want to say, uh, you know, and you're trying to convey all these feelings. But in the end, it's like, it's like the water is cold and I want to get to the other side. I mean, like, the, 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 at that point, I have to say it depends because, yeah, it because agree, are yeah. the people going to sing along with you? I, yeah. I'll give you an example. There's a guy named Stephen Lacey. Mm -hmm. He did a song, I Wish I Knew You Wanted Me, but nobody understood, but nobody could even sing his first 
uh, the first verse of his song. However, everybody was stuck on, I wish I knew, I wish I knew you wanted me, I wish I knew. Yeah, there needs to be that moment in the yeah, song. I agree moment, with that. But, yeah. the, it doesn't but need to if be the a, whole song is cheap, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, and it depends. Yeah, like, uh, like um, I, I the Tiger, is I the Tiger cheap? No. no. There we go. Cause yeah, because it's yeah, but but it's a cool song in, in general. But they, but I think there needs to be there needs to be that moment in the song that catches you. Maybe it's the whole thing, you know. But for I, I realized when we play live, uh, um, what always uh, works. I mean, this is for the guys who know Blossom Kite, of course. But um, <coughs> that when we play live, what always works best if people didn't hear us before, it's always burn. Yeah. Because awesome. burn is like uh, you don't know the song, but it's like, like an a, anthem. Burn, yeah, it's like a, burn, burn, what we created. Oh yeah, you checked it out, nice. <laughs> but you see uh, what you did there, right? Yeah, but that's that's a hook, you know. You know, you and see what I, you I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I see when we play this live, and I make the people sing along with this. You know, it works because, your because recipe. It, it, yeah, it's it gets in the head, and the oh. rest is uh, is. Um, you can also go crazy and they can be, but there needs to be that part yeah, that yeah. catches you, you know? I mean, like, Burn is a good example because it just combines what we like. Uh, it's not, uh, I mean, yeah, whatever. Self advertising. Yeah, <laughs> self advertising. But, uh, but it has, that, it has yeah. that catchy chorus that what we like, what we're right. talking about. It's simple, it's just exactly. Burn, Burn, Burn. Everybody can sing Burn, Burn, Burn. Yeah. But then it, uh, also it has that part where it's uh, 7 by 8. Yeah, yeah and, and the lyrics uh, also talk about the, yeah. But that's just a typical progressive. It's it's a progressive format. It's fine if you just choose a progressive format like that. You yeah, know, right. Yeah, you know, you change your tempo, no problem. Yeah, no problem. If They're you get to that. a certain point. Yeah. If there's a point behind you it, you don't want people to cut off the song after they mm. hear "Burn, Burn." We yeah. created a few yeah. times. No, you mm. get yeah. bridge. Ha! Yeah. He <laughs> kill him. You know. Yeah. But to me, if the verse would be as simple and as basic, I wouldn't like the song as much as it is now. Yeah. It has a simple chorus, so to say, because you can remember it, it repeats one word, and yeah. Yeah. it stuck to your head. But at the same time, the verse isn't that simple. By the way, yeah. I really recommend uh, the audience listen to Burn. It's it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's other songs. It's it's, it's, songs it's, it's, it's really something to thrash out on. You'll have a good time with that. I loved it. Thank you. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice song. Um, and great CGI on that one too. Uh, what what did you do? That's, that's, I think that's where you guys had the uh, had that had that pyramid. No, that's an, uh, same, oh, old no, song. That's same old that's song. I know that's same old song. Yeah. That's same old song. That was a good song. one too. Now because yeah. it it, it, but it's, that's it's, really it started in a very good way. That that that. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, he does so nice. Nice stuff, man. Cool. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Um, no. uh, like maybe, what, how long are we? Uh, are we going? I, I have no idea. Uh, we're always trying to stay like, oh, but oh, fuck it. Uh, I have, I have, I have one question uh, because you were. Uh, it's really interesting to talk to you because I didn't know that you were so. Uh, um, I, I wasn't expecting for you to enjoy metal, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, and all this stuff. So I'm kind of wondering now. I mean, we're going off script anyway. So and this is not on the script, but I would like to know uh, where you want to go from here. I mean, what what are you doing now? You're playing uh, uh, club shows. Yeah, you're uh, producing yourself. I'm pretty much gone every weekend. Yeah, but what, what are you you're also recording, or you're just playing live at the moment? Uh, I'm attempting to record more. Okay, but. Uh... <laughs> it's so funny how Spotify. Almost, well, I, luckily a friend of mine uh, has uh, hacked the system. He, he knows how the <laughs> okay. he knows how the algorithm works, and he's persistent. Uh, shout out! Shout out to Maxim Shunk. Can you show us how to do it? I mean, <laughs> actually, actually, I would love to get him Two on the show music. because oh, yeah? uh, he can literally talk about the persistence uh, that you know, building it up and making it. Uh, um, and, and getting, he's got like close to 3 million listeners a month. Mm. Oh, that's that's and, better than us, even. <laughs> <laughs> and I find that not only is that impressive, it's like magic, mm -hmm. you know? And he's, he, he's a producer or what, what is he? He's, a, he's a producer. He's like a, he's, he's, he's not only a producer, he's also a curator of producers. Like he, he makes, as a matter of fact, the true sense of a producer, not uh, it, it, it didn't used to be someone who made the music. It used to be someone who got together all the components to make a song. Metalist, you know, like that, to make it happen. Basically, yeah. a producer, a metalist. It's, it's you know, not not the guy who creates the music. Right, no. right. The producer is usually the guy who gets together all the right musicians, 
all the right management, all of the uh, the, the right partners mm. in order to make the track great. And so um, Maxim, in, in a true sense, is a producer mm. in the sense that Barry Gordy was a producer. Mm. You know, uh, he he changes the things that he thinks is necessary in order to make a, tr a, set, a track a hit. And then uh, since then, uh, since he's had that kind of leeway to make these decisions, his Spotify now has... Uh, it's it's great to see him uh, so successful, and I'm very proud of him. Max, shout out to Maxim Schunk, Maxim Schunk uh, of the uh, of the Ruhrpott region. Uh, Maybe Ruhrpott, no, yeah, North Rhine Westphalia. Yeah, in our, in, in uh, he's here in the area. Yeah, he's a he's a Merza, and uh, but yeah, um, don't let him Europe. tell you that he's yeah he's always busy. This guy is on the way to Thailand now. Like, oh, cool. he, I mean, uh, if we if we could get him to the show, that would be that would be a really interesting uh, episode. He even shoots his own videos now about uh, yeah. uh, the 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 TikTok mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. Maybe, yeah. maybe I mean he he's he he's a story of hunger of hunger and per, and and, uh, and and persistence. I th and I and I thank him every day that he's uh, inspiring me. So I hope that he can also uh, talk with you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, that, awesome. that, uh, yeah, that sounds like a cool plan and maybe yeah. we can have you both on and then we can talk a little bit more because i i kind I'd of cut to. you off in the beginning when we were oh, it's fine. when you were starting about uh, to talk about the whole uh, like about spotify algorithm and i'm something. overzealous i'm enthusiastic you that's, guys gotta shut me up no no that, that's okay i'm uh, always like the moderator i'm always strict oh, we need to stick to the script i'm so sorry You're just but, doing your job um yeah but but this is an interesting topic we love to to uh yeah. talk about like spotify and, and the in uh, the modern culture with the internet Got and to. social media that and will so be that. angry and so, very loud yeah so this would be yeah. a cool episode like and if it, we can it does get piss you off, off doesn't it yes. we are pissed it off about this so stuff. mad because uh, <laughs> uh, okay, just 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 yeah. the one uh sentence for me or one maybe two or maybe two <laughs> <laughs> if music is about cracking spotify algorithms it's not art it's gone too far it's not yeah, art. it's gone too far cracking algorithms yeah. That, that's the point so yeah. i mean like checkmate <laughs> yeah yeah Man. and they have billions billions of people listening and you can't you can't pinpoint your demographic enough yeah. to even call promoters to find out where you can get a booking at yeah yeah, yeah. But this is for a different episode. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> see for a different episode, which is uh, which is gonna next. be happening uh, <laughs> up next. Uh, it will be happening it's over Spotify. I mean, we haven't yeah. even yet uh, scratched uh, the whole other topic. Is it? Is it we need to make another. Uh, we we okay. too far in. Like uh, we okay. need to make. Maybe we will definitely have you back. Oh, stamp dish. If, <laughs> if you if you if you uh, if you uh, you uh, wanna or if you want to, you can come back for another episode, and then we will. I'd love to do anything to the to the other topics. Um, because now I'm remembering the stuff. He always needs to remind me of the stuff that we were planning. Because uh, oh, uh, really? At the end, at the end of the show already, or what? Yeah, I mean, look at what? the time. We are like at, f I think it's like 45. Can you see it? Uh, no, no, no. Why? Yeah, I think we've been talking for that long. Uh, we were like, look cool, it's you know? 45 minutes. We always try to stay like when we. It's just us. It's like 20, 25 minutes, and when it's with guests, it's like. 45, try to, 50, to keep it less than under, the, well, under one hour. Well, kids, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the, For our next episode. <laughs> when is the end of the episode? Oh, yeah, already. we have this tradition, of course. Uh, you already beer. started with a tradition with a good I, beer. I, I, I have mine in the freezer. I don't want it. No, no, no. Push. We have... I don't want it be. I don't want it to pop wide open in the freezer. Because that wouldn't... So be we good. just have beers for us. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have a beer for him, him too, but it's in the other room, so... Give me a second, okay? This is, this is live. I, yeah. Oh, he's, <laughs> good he's right happening. What's happening? Oh, it's why. Oh, that's not free. No, 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 no. No, but it's, I drink it. It's in okay. the fridge. No, you it's get in the, the fridge. I drink this one. The, none this of those is fruit. But he has one in the fridge, though. Okay, then later. The oh, yeah. I get it later. We, we promise you, we are not assholes. I mean, I am not. He he is kind of. I've already uh, had my. my, my choice, I've right. already had. I've had my portion. <laughs> you, you, you you get another one. Your portion. Um, your portion. So, but my, my, my cheers, portion. cheers to you. Oh my god, that sucks so much. <laughs> that's, oh man, I, I, I have <laughs> a a something there. Yeah, I, that's that's. All right, guys. Fuck it. It's uh, rock and roll. Uh, we have, uh, <laughs> Before we forget, we have a, 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 a how do you call it? A promotional yeah. lottery? How do you say this? Awesome. A giveaway. Giveaway. Oh, nice. giveaway. giveaway. Uh, because we actually we played a gig the other uh, day and uh, we had an amazing idea for the merch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because we play in bands for a long time and we had other bands before Blossom Cult, which were not that cool, but were also cool. Um, and so we actually have uh, this album that we released when uh, our former band was like 
uh, finishing like uh, 2019, 18, uh, yeah, 19, I think. And uh, so we have the CD, and we have a lot of copies left because the band uh, disbanded after yeah. this album. So uh, at the last gig we played, we uh, had the amazing idea to just put this on the merch too. Just mm -hmm. say this is like our history. So if you want, yeah. it's not Blossom Cup, yeah. but you can buy this too. And so we made a package, yeah. a package deal, the history package, uh, yeah, the history so. package we called it. So I know, like you, you explained basically everything. So yeah, the history yeah, yeah. package is uh, the last album of a previous band, Seeking Raven. The two EPs of Blossom Card. The two EPs of Blossom Card, and that's everything the in one history package. And uh, yeah. if you want to, you can, you can get it for win free. A I love that history logo. Package. So um, yeah, it's really cool. It's, uh, we uh, need uh, a name, guys. Uh, uh, we need not Prado. Alex or uh, Eugene. Hi, yes. sorry, just sorry, just sorry, 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 We need. You are the guest. We need a special name. What's a weird, a weird name? You need. Explain. Look, we have no, to. No, 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 no. We don't explain. Okay, I'm not explaining. <laughs> Just tell us a weird name. What, what's what's, what's the weird weirdest name? name weirdest you can, name you can uh, you think can of a think really, of really weird name of a person. Not a person you, a you have to question. know. Just, just a weird name. Can be any language. Any. Last any time it was. Uh, I, I forgot it already. Me too. What's a weird? Uh, maybe an American name. A weird last when we were here with uh, Zach, my vocal coach, the other day, and who is also American, he said. Uh, uh, a bad English, uh, a bad American name is uh, was Chad because Chad is a douchebag name. Oh, <laughs> One of my best friends' name is Ch my name oh sorry, <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm sorry. My neighbor's name is Chad. Oh, oh we all like. No, you're lying. Oh, remember Chad? Chad's a good guy. Well, okay, but, but so we need to still have a name. I mean, like we are already. Uh, a weird name. Uh, uh, Any weird yeah. name, we will tell you after why. <laughs> Blanche. Blanche. What's the Blanche? Uh, it's good. Okay, that's perfect. Blanche. We don't know how it's how it's uh, spelled, and it doesn't Blanche. matter because we love to read your uh, uh, okay. uh, your okay. attempts. So you type in Blanche is a weird name, okay? And if you type this in, you have the chance to win this amazing history package of no, Blossom Card. If, if, if you can even spell Blanche, yeah. yeah, but that's part of the fun. Oh my! It's God. always weird names, always different variations. We have no idea how to write Blanche, so uh, we accept every. Every, yeah, every you try. just need to type this in the comments. If, if you can't find a Blanche, just because they've all burned themselves down in their own house with the cigarette and their mattress. Blanche just sounds like, <laughs> like, a tool, <laughs> like a tool you need when you screw something in or something. Like, uh, you know, my name is Blanche. Blanche, oh, that sounds like a southerner. I, I burned down three houses already. <laughs> okay, I don't really, really want to know who Blanche is. But I'm <laughs> trying to repair my washing machine. Can you hand me a Blanche? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so guys, you know the deal. Uh, uh, type this uh, this name into the comments, and uh, you might win this amazing history package. Thanks a lot, man, for uh, being here with us Thank and uh, for being me, part of the podcast. And there will be a next episode in this is the December or the November episode. I'm, I'm don't don't. <laughs> There will be ne uh, uh, next month, whenever this is coming out, there will be a new episode. <laughs> there will be a new episode. And um, thank I, you for I, tuning I, in. Kick it up, kick it up, do it like once a week. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. We're I struggling am, with what once I'm a month. I'm the devil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so take care. Cut, 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 cut. This guy is screwed, man. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. Take care, guys. from the sky and the pretty citizen is wondering why. Was he not a girl?